In today's IGCSE and GCSE video, we're going to be looking at finding the area of a triangle using half AB sine C. So this is when you don't have a right angle triangle, so you can't just do half base times height. And if we just take a generic triangle like this one, just remember for me that the side opposite the angle is assigned the same letter, so that's why that's A. The side opposite B will be B, the side opposite angle C will be C. And that's going to be important when you actually look at the formula half A, B, sine C, because really what you're looking at here is if we took this particular triangle, well, sine C has to be the angle C, so we're looking at this one, and then it needs to be two sides which are touching that, which are these two sides. So it's kind of the angle between two sides, which would be where the half A, B comes in. And so if you don't have that kind of combination, you're probably going to have to do a bit of extra maths in order to find out your unknown sides or angles. But let's start with some simple examples. So here we're being asked to find the area of this triangle. So let's write out our formula. So area of triangle equals half AB sine C. So here's angle C. This will be side C. doesn't matter what you assign the other two angles, but let's say for arguments say that's angle A. So this will be side A. This is angle B, this will be side B. So let's just substitute in our values. So what is side A? Well, that's 6.6. .6. We need to multiply that by side B, which is 3.2, and multiply that by the sine of angle C, which is 62 degrees. And really, you can just pop that into your calculator as it is. And you'll get a value which to three significant figures is 9.32, and it's centimeters squared because we're finding an area after all. So question two is slightly more difficult because we're not being asked to find the area. We're going to have to basically use that equation in a slightly different way in order to solve these questions. So find angle PQR first of all. Notice that when it's written like that, you're actually looking for angle Q. So it's the one in the middle. And if we write out our formula, so area equals half AB sine C. So we know that the angle is C, so I'm going to label Q as C. The side opposite that is C. Again, it doesn't matter how you label the other two. I'm going to call RA, which means the side opposite that is A, and this is going to be B. So the side opposite that is B. And we're ready to get going because we know the area is 20. We need to write half and then substitute in the values you've been given. So that will be 8 for A. B is 10. We're looking for angle C, so we're going to write that there. Then let's simplify it down, so do half times 8, which is 4, times 10, which is 40. And then in order to sort that out a bit, you need to get rid of that 40 on the right-hand side. How do you do that? Well, divide both sides by 40. So it's 20 divided by 40 equals sine C. So sine C equals a half, because 20 divided by 40 is a half. And now you need to do inverse sine in your calculator on 0 0.5 in order to work out angle C. And that is 30 degrees. And let's make sure we write it out. So PQR, which is effectively what we've just found, is 30 degrees. Let's pop that in because we now know that that is angle X or angle PQR. And now we need to do part B. So we're calculating PR. And I've rubbed out all my labels because in this case, we're going to have to use the cosine rule and check out our previous video if you're not too sure on this one. And that's a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos a. And so if I'm looking for this side, pr, I'm going to call that side a, so this becomes angle a. And then it doesn't matter how I do the others, but I'm going to call that b, so that becomes side b, and that's c, so that becomes side c. So now I'm ready to work out what side a is, because after all that is side pr. So I'm going to write a squared equals b squared, so that's 10 squared, plus 8 squared, minus 2 times 8 times 10, times cos 30. And really, you can just put all everything on the right-hand side of that equal sign straight into your calculator. And once you pop that into your calculator, you'll get a value which is a squared equals 25.4359, blah, blah, blah. Square root that in order to get a by itself. And you'll get a value which is 5.04 centimetres to three significant figures. 